What's up guys and gals? Today we are checking out the Wild Star customization. We are going to jump straight into this because this is my second time making this video for you guys. I tried once and due to technical difficulties the video was unusable. So we are going to just go through this super quick. We're going to look at the first faction which is the Exiles. The Exiles are a gutsy group of refugees, rebels, and mercenaries that have come to, come to Nexus to make a new home. Next up, let's look at the other faction. Just a quick peek. The Dominion is a powerful interstellar empire that considers Nexus its rightful legacy and will conquer it at all costs. So we got these motherfuckers over here. See, they're just trying to conquer everything. They're just trying to take over. These guys are assholes. Then we got these guys, they're, they're just trying to find a home. They just want a home. But these assholes want to conquer them. Alright, next up we will look at the different races. Alright, we have the human male. Uh, let's see. Race information. Exile humans are respected for their grit, iron, backbone, and dauntless tenacity. Having been hunted through space by the Dominion for centuries, the humans have decided to lay down roots on Nexus, bravely making a final stand against the aggressive empire who threatens to drive them from the planets. And here's a little quick peek at the human. These are all presets. As you can see, it'll change as I go back and forth. I like that hairstyle though. Badass. Look at that. It's fucking Vegeta. That is Vegeta right there. Girl Vegeta. Next, we got the Orans. Scrappy, energetic, and passionate. The Oran are a race of forest dwellers with inherent ferocity, agility, and magical skill. Driven from the, their homeworld by the Dominion, the Oran are prepared to bear tooth and claw to defend their home and planet Nexus. Alright, kitty, come here. I need you not to be cl Oh, whoops. Not to be climbing on my desk while I'm recording a video. I got a new kitty cat. Alright, here is the, uh, fix my mic. Sorry about that, if that made any noise. The males and the females. They're kind of cute. Kind of like them. Kind of cool looking. Next, we have the Granoks. The Granok are a boisterous race of battle-tested, hard-drinking mercenaries that lead the exile free companies. Banished from their home planet after a bloody war with the Dominion, they are now ready to lead the charge in defending the exiles on planet Nexus. Here's what the females look like. Next up we have Mordish. Alright, armed with forbidden knowledge of science and alchemy, the Mordish are brilliant scientists and deadly spies. Having fallen victim to a degenerate disease known as the Contagion, the Mordish have come to Nexus to seek a cure, and they are more than ready to unleash their dark and deadly arts against their Dominion enemies. There's the females, they are... These guys are actually cool looking, like that mask thing looks sweet as fuck. Alright, next up we have the Kajans in the Dominion faction. Humans of the Dominion known as Kajans, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, are intelligent, courageous, and supremely confident chosen by the Elden long ago to be the inheritors of their powerful legacy, the Cajuns, Cajuns have now traveled across the stars to Nexus, ready to fulfill their destiny as the rightful rulers of planet Nexus. Here's the females. I kind of wish I was wearing my glasses, but I don't want to go get them. Alright, Drakens, or Drakens, Draken. These guys are scary looking motherfuckers. Let's see, Drakens are bloodthirsty, brutal, and ferocious ferociously aggressive. Forged in the heat and dust of their savage homeworld, the Draken see Nexus as a prime primeval 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 wilderness where they can test their strength and skill in combat. And they look forward to defeating the battle hardened exile free companies that have dared to trespass on their world. Hey. Come here. Stop that. You stop that shit. Here's the females. This cat just likes to... I don't know what he's doing. He goes in his damn litter box and starts tapping on the wall. It's like a climb-in litter box and he's just like tap, 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 tap. Alright, next up we have the Chihuahuas. The Chihuahuas. Look at this evil-looking motherfucker. They only have males. Alright, the Chihuahua are a race of mischievous, 
mischievous, mich man, I cannot speak today, highly intelligent inventors that develop weapons and technology for the Dominion. Gifted with inherent mechanical skill and insight, the Trois have come to Planet Nexus to exploit its many natural wonders and technological secrets, and relish the opportunity to unleash their destructive technology arsenal on the Exiles. And last but not least, we have the Makaris. Let's see, the Makari are a race of advanced mechanical beings created by the Elden long ago. Cold, cruel, and calculating, the vigilant Makari worked tirelessly to en oh, I really need my glasses to ensure the continued dominance dominance oh my lord that was horrible I, thought, I sound retarded of the dominion on planet nexus strategically eliminating the dissidents dissidents spies and traitors who threatened to bring about its demise here's the females they look kind of weird I don't know if I like them they, they, they look kind of cool whoa spiky spiky Booby boobies, but, but. Alright, next up we are going to look at the various, oh wait, let's, let's change this to humans, specifically because they can be every class. Alright, we will read through all the different classes. When it comes to combat, the warrior is an unstoppable juggernaut destroying the enemies with a combination of brute force and deadly weaponry. Warriors solve problems the old-fashioned way, cutting down enemies with their swords and ripsaw shields, or blasting them to pieces with a trusty arm cannon. Next up we have Engineer. The Engineer utilizes a technological mastery to craft the right tool for any situation, most notably ones where heavy firepower is a necessary, or necessity. Espers are masters of illusion, attacking their enemies with powerful psychic weapons and projecting inspiring visions to heal their friends and allies. Combat with an Esper is a deadly phantasmal dance that torments enemies with their darkest fears before pushing them over the edge of madness. That sounds pretty damn cool and scary. Medics thrive when submersed in battle, healing those that fight with them and crushing those that stand before them. The Stalkers strike ferociously with its claws, using advanced stealth technology to deal multiple blows to his enemies. The Stalker also uses a mix of technological abilities to tacti tactically, tact oh my God, tactically control the battlefield, leaving a pile of corpses in his wake. I wonder if that changes for female. Does it still say in his wake? Yep. Uh, last up, Spell Slinger is a steely-eyed gun for hire using deadly precision and acrobatic agility to put his enemies in the ground. With a lethal combination of hair-triggered, hair-trigger pistols and powerful magic, the Spell Slinger is a dangerous foe, blasting enemies with a deadly barrage of bullets or casting runic sigils that sow destruction and death. Alright, last up we have the path, which I am not 100% sure what it is. I think it might just be a lore thing, like I don't I don't know if it really changes much. We'll have to play the game to, to really find out on that one. Or use Google. One of the two. Alright, the soldier tackles combat heavy missions, gaining access to special weaponry and objectives as he fights across Nexus. Often battling waves of enemies, soldiers will use every tool at their disposal to hack and slash their way to victory. The Settler's mission is to tame the wilds of Planet Nexus, collecting resources to construct beneficial improvements for the community at large. Bravely facing the dangers of an alien planet for the greater good, Settlers are sure to earn adoration of their companies, oh, companions as they adventure across Nexus. Scientists, the scientist has come to Nexus to study its exotic flora, dangerous fauna, and ancient technology. Utilizing a powerful, upgradable scan bot to scan creatures and uncover lore, the scientist is living proof that knowledge is power. Power! Ra ra! Fight the power! The wild frontiers are the perfect place, this is the explorer by the way, for the, oh, perfect place for the an explorer, I should have read ahead. Often traveling to the most dangerous places on Nexus, explorers claim territory for their faction by finding hidden paths, exploring secret caves, and climbing the tallest mountains. Alrighty then. Next up, we are going to go through the various customization options. 
I'm just going to go through these real quick so you can get an idea of what you can make. As you can see, you can change a lot of stuff here for your face, your chin angle, doo -doo 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 -doo. your chin length, doo -doo -doo. thickness, that big old fat, long chin, and fat, yeah, yeah, there we go. Your eye angle, you can be all, yeah, like that. Uh, your eye height, eye size, you can have super small or big eyes. Your socket height, oh jeez, yeah, we got someone going on here. Socket size, there we go. Spacing, let me spread out. Eye spacing, further spread out. Eyebrow height, low, low, low. Eyebrow spacing, eyebrow thickness. As you can see, there is a bunch, bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of stuff you can change when it comes to your face. Oh, jeez, that makes a huge difference. Bloop, 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 whoop, whoop. Uh, nose angle, and point up a little bit, height. This is the kind of stuff that some people love. Some people love being able to go through this stuff. Personally, personally, I usually just leave these kind of settings on the default. I tried to make this guy look retarded, but he kind of looks cool. Kind of looks like a badass. Next up, we have the skin color. You can be super white. You can be a little bit tanner. Or weird color. I mean, white again. Tan again. You can be a black guy. Or a brown guy. Or an albino. Now hair color. Just basic colors. You can't do anything super crazy with hair color. Or eye color. Oh, we got like a, a pinkish, purplish color. Hard to tell because I made this guy's eyes so tiny. Red, green, silver or white. Facial hair. Some basic beards and mustaches. Nice handlebar mustache going on there. Hairstyle, you can, oh geez, there's Vegeta again. Shorter Vegeta. This little hairstyle, oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, there's a there's a few hairstyles. There's there's a couple nice in there. It's not like a huge selection when it comes to hairstyles, but let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's about eighteen hairstyles. That's that's pretty good actually. That's that's good. Uh, we will scroll out. It's the different body types. Uh, there's just some different presets for your body types. Nothing too too big there. You can't customize your body like you can your face. You don't have all those uh, different settings. You can also just randomize all, go through them all. You can reset it back to the default that we started with. That is the human male. Let's check out the human female. Now we've seen most of that, so it should start to go quicker here. Let's just go through the faces. I'm just gonna tab through these now that we've seen most of what we can. Skin color is still the same stuff for the most part. Hair color. Kind of like the white. White looks pretty sweet. I like white hair in uh, video games. I'll go with that kind of often. Eye color. As you can see, nothing nothing too crazy aside from like a pinkish or a purple. Red. White. Uh, there is jewelry. Let's go over to hair style again and go with something here we'll go through these real quick boom 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 kind of like that one boom that one's pretty too it reminds me of a uh, an 80s hairstyle an 80s mother all right then we'll go with this one just because it exposes our ears and go back to jewelry so we can actually get a good look at the jewelry that's that's actually kind of cool is what the fuck is that? Big ass gears. Big ass stars, big ass hoops. The bigger the hoops, the bigger the hoe is what uh is what my cousin says. More hoops, different various I like I like the ones up on the back here like that. It's kinda nice. Hairstyle, we just looked at that. Body type is another basic stuff. You can have big old boobs. Boom 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 boom. Boom. This is the one that throws me off for loop. God, look at them fucking thighs. Like, they just get massive. 
Oh no. Alright, next up we have the Oren. Face style. Damn, those fucking eyes look ridiculous. Uh, these guys, hmm. Not a fan of most of these face styles. Actually, I like that one. I like the eyes closed, or even this mean looking mug. Uh, we will skip customized face. Skin color. This actually has a few different colors you can pick from. Pinkish. Pinkish color. Ha hairstyles. You can have a girly hair. You can have a another girly anime-ish hair, but it looks pretty fucking sweet. Let's see. Anything else cool? Nah. I don't really like the guy version of this. Uh, hair color. You can kind of get some... Uh, Weirder colors now that you're looking at a guy. I mean, not a guy, an Orin instead of human. Uh, eye color, again, I don't think anything really changes here. About the same that we've seen. Ear style. This is a nice little thing you can change. Have various looking ears. I like. Let's see. I kind of like. I kind of like that one? No. I kind of like this one a little bit. No, not really. I like this one. Body types. Just tab through all these real fast, get a general idea. Move over to the girl. Customize. Face. You only got six options for her face. Ew. We'll, we'll, go, with, we'll go with this one. Skin color. Can be super pink, purplish, light purple. Blue will be blue. It'll be a smurf. A smurfette. Let's scroll just a little bit. <laughs> kind of like that. Pretty hairstyles. They got all kinds of pretty ones. You got the Super Saiyan 3 hair. That's kind of cool. Looks like it'd take a ton of work. That's kind of nice too. Mm -mm -mm. Hair color. Purple. Blackish, bluish color, blue, 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 pink, yellow, white, orange, green. Oh man, so this is about the most entertaining thing ever. How are your guys' days going? How about you leave that in the comments, because uh, we're just tabbing through stuff we've already seen. Actually, no we haven't. Oh, sweet, those back, those bat wings look sweet. We'll leave it on the bat wings because it looks sweet. Various earrings on our bat wing ears. Hoops and shit. Some of these kind of look cool. Some of them look retarded. I don't know if I'm a fan of having some of these on there. Like, let's see. Like, that kind of looks... Eh, that kind of looks dumb to me. That looks really dumb. To each his own, I guess. Mm-mm-mm. Alright, the Granox. Face styles. Alright, I'm really gonna put... Oh, jeez. Hairstyles. I'm really gonna put the pedal to the metal here because I do not want a long-ass video of... Ew. That is gross looking. Eye color for our one little eye. As I was saying, though, I don't want leaf. We do not have a leaf anywhere. No leaf. Do not want a long ass video of just looking at this stuff. Crystal color. We don't have any crystal. I think we have to change a. Uh... Does that count as crystal? I don't fucking know. I think I think that counts as crystal. Yeah, there we go. But yes, as I was saying, I don't want a long ass video of just looking at the stuff. So we're kind of going to put the pedal to the metal. Jump straight to this guy, customize. Faces. Oh, this bitch is kind of ugly. I don't like the Granox too much. We'll leave it on this one. This one reminds me of a... Uh, I don't even know what. Ooh, smooth. Oh, it's all, all these are kind of smooth, I guess. Jeez. Jeez, it'd be dark red. 
Hairstyles. Damn. Leaf color. Oh, I think those are leaves on there. On my head. Yep, they are leaves. Uh, jewelry. Our stone jewelry for our stone head. Body type. So this game kind of came out of nowhere. Like, I did not really hear anything about it. I heard people kind of mention it here and there. God fucking damn, dude. Really? Those are huge. Damn, what the fuck? Yeah, but like, I, I didn't really hear anything about this game, like, other than a random mention here and there. But, uh, yeah, it's, I was just offered a beta invite, and I'm like, oh, well, sweet, I guess I will be showing this off to, ew, look at his teeth. I guess I will show this off to my viewers. So this was kind of a, a random occurrence, like, I didn't really plan this out. I was just offered to a, a beta key, so I took it. I took it, and that is why I'm able to show you this content now. Hopefully, in the next video, we will watch actual gameplay of the actual game. Hair color. This literally changes nothing. Is this not technically hair? That is hair there, I guess. Hair color. Yeah, that is hair. eye color. I kind of like how this changes his entire like, whatever these are called, his joints. Those aren't even joints, actually. But it looks sweet. You got the blue. Facial accessories changes these little things up here. Kind of look pretty dang sweet. We had something cool. That looks kind of weird. Body type. Bulky. Kind of skinny on the bottom, bulky on top. Big ass thighs as always. The last one's always makes like thighs like fucking too big. Look weird. A girl mortish, which I actually think looks pretty cool. I like the girl mortish. We'll customize you next. Like, oh jeez, not that one. Those eyes look sweet though. Like, that looks pretty damn cool. I like that. Skin color. Hairstyle. Don't really like most of their hairstyles, but they got some cool ones in here. I think I, think I like that. It looks kind of cool with these little metal things going back into it. Or that. Or even that. That looks kind of cool, I guess. Not a fan of the mohawky things. Actually, that's kind of cool how it goes back like that. Hair color. Eye color. Again, I really like how it changes different parts of her body. Are those considered eyes, I guess? Facial accessories. These are pretty sweet. I think I like this person mainly because of the mask thing. The mask thing looks badass. And changing the color on your body looks badass as well. Do, 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 do. Alright, next up we have the Dominion. Cushions. Let's see if I can really move this along. I really want to get to the game. Skin color. Hair color. Boom, 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 boom. Facial hair. Last up, hairstyle. I believe... Oh. I believe we have seen enough of the body types. The body types are all, for the most part, exactly the same. I mean, you can see... I mean, they're not the same on each race, but like they, they do the same effects. Each one. Like, the last one's always going to make your thighs big and your ass big and all that stuff. Like, it always works out like that one. Like, the third to last always makes your boobs humongous. Alright, let's look at these different faces. 
Skin color is about the same. We don't need to look at that on humans. Eye color. I think we get a good idea of the eye color. We probably don't have to go through that either. Jewelry. Let's get a good look at your ears, babe. I like that. I kind of like that. A little crystal. Looks kind of cool. Hairstyle. Let's see if you got any cool looking hairs. Eh. Eh. That's kind of pretty. That reminds me of a... Oh, there was this game that I really liked for 360. It's a lesser known game. It's uh, I don't think it's really considered to be good. But it's called Wet. It's just straight called Wet. And uh, it was awesome. It was like... Uh, it had like the bullet time type thing going on from um, Max Payne. You like slow motion and customize slow motion uh, shooting and all that. All right, so these guys are some scary looking gargoyle motherfuckers. Like I like the sad face. Look how sad he is. He's a he's just a little sad guy. He's just a little sad guy. Skin color. These guys actually have some different skin colors, so we will go through those. I want to be an orange sad guy. Orange is my favorite color. Different hairs. Yeah. We are going to... For the heck of it, we are just going to do this. You're going to be a scary, scary, sad monster. No one understands me. No one understands me. I'm going to have a fire beard. Facial hairstyle. What the fuck's up with that mustache? It's like a little, uh... The Asian style mustache. Little Asian master. The master. Eye color. I like the white. Oh my god! No, let's go with orange. Where was orange? Yeah, there we go. It matches our beard. Let's look at horns real quick. Boop. Oh, yeah, I think we skipped this middle one. Yeah. Damn! It's like... Ah, uh, fuck. What does that look like? These horns right here remind me of something specifically. Like, from an anime, I think. I don't remember. Body type. Uh, as usual, they just kind of shift around your body a little bit. Dragon females. I haven't really looked at the dragon females yet. Oh my god, what was that one? That one's scary as fuck. It'll be like this. We'll be that. Skin color, same as the male. For the most part, let's look at some hairs. Yeah. Oh wow, actually. No, that's kind of scary too, I don't like that. Hashtag too scary. Too spooky, I mean. Hashtag too spooky. That's kind of nice. Hair color. Eye color. And horn style. Damn, there's some big ass horns. Them are some big ass horns. Those kind of look cool. I like those little ones like that. Little ones on the girls, big ones on the guys. Earrings. All right, now we have, oh wait, oh wait, 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 the Chua's. Now we're gonna look at these guys last cause they are fucking sweet. I like the Chua's. <sighs> Face dial on these mechanical looking bastards. These guys uh, have some sweet looking faces. I gotta admit that, like this stuff looks fucking cool. Skin color just kind of chases, changes uh, bits and pieces of you. Like this little area and this in your head. Your forearm and your head, I should say. Hairstyle kind of changes the like crystal stuff. I guess that's what that is, crystals. I hate that I can't move it up a little bit to see, like get a real good look on the hair. But you get a general idea. Crystal color. We have pink crystals on our guy. A pink mohawk. Facial accessories changes this little area. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Next up, we will look at the girl, Makari. 
Customize face dial. Ugh. That looks sweet though. That looks sweet. I like the fucking. I like that one. Ew. Ew. What's up with your eyes, bitch? We're going with this one. That looks sweet as fuck. Look at that. Alright, skin color. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Look at this gold. Hair color. I mean, hairstyle. Damn. What the hell is that? Oh, oh actually, that's kind of cool. It's got the ring. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool, too. Actually, these girl Macarys are actually pretty sweet. I think if I uh, made a... What are these called again? Uh, fuck. The Dominion faction? It would have to be one of these. Or a Chua. Because Chua's are amazing. Crystal color. Facial accessories. I like the facial accessories on these guys too. They look pretty sweet. I like I, I like all these. They're all nice. All right, last up but not least, we have the Chuas. Not the not that. Look at this little motherfucker. Look at this little motherfucking rat. He is amazing. All right, look at these faces. All right, maybe not all of them are amazing, but look at him. Ew, no. You can do this one. He's just a cute little guy. We got the sad little guy back there. Sad little monster. Now we got the cute little guy. And look at this fucking hair. Look at this stupid ass thing. What do you call this? I don't even know what you call that. You got all this shit. Name you Alvin. If I was making one of you, you're going to be named Alvin. You're going to have this stupid hairstyle right there. Yes. Facial hairstyle. Look at that fucking stash, dude. God, that stash is amazing. We have to go. Or we can have this. Look at that. He's just he's the master again. The master. He's in a sweet stash. We don't have eyes. That's fine. We get the picture. Alright, various ears. Ew, those are weird. Some of these don't match our little guy. We'll have the little ones. That matches our little guy. Fur color. It would have to be this one. Or even the pink. But we're going with this one. Or... I kind of like that one too. We'll go with this. Body type. Eh, that's all basically the same. You can be a little fat fuck. Alright, well, uh... I think that does it for all the customization that went on a bit longer than I expected. I thank you guys extremely so much, so much, extremely so much, makes so much sense, for watching my video through the end if you are still here. Thank you for watching and please continue to watch.